guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Well, I have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club, and I don't know about y'all, but I am ready to party. Are y'all ready to party? I got all my party nails, and I'm ready to join this party that's right here. I'll open this and be right back. I am back, and this is everything that you get in your Diamond Art Club um, kit you get your nice, wonderful canvas that is tarpaulin, which is unique to Diamond Art Club. Feels so buttery. I, I love the feel of a Diamond Art Club canvas. You get your drills, you get a toolkit, you get a little sticker, and this sticker you can put either on your uh, in your logbook, if you want to put it in your logbook, you can put it on the box, that's where I put it, or anywhere that you just really want to uh, to have it to put. You also get... Uh, a pamphlet and your sticker sheet. Okay, the big sticker sheet. So y'all ready to see what canvas I have? Y'all, I love this artist. You have the Fiesta by Christina Yen. She's also known as Six Leaf Clover. And y'all, look at these. Look at these little guys. Oh my God, like seriously. And I can't wait to tell you a couple of things about them. But this is a square. It is a 78 by 60, so it's not super massive. And how many colors? We had to have two sheets because there are 74 colors, y'all. 74. Oh, makes my little dragon heart happy. <laughs> I, love, I, I, I love dragons, y'all. And y'all, this is the perfect year because this is the year of the dragon. So... It's, it's time for dragon lovers. Unite, y'all. And they're just so cute. Okay, I can't. I can't. Oh, compose yourself, Brandy. Just compose yourself. So, if their number is under the number 150 for Diamond Art Club, it's an AB. So, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five ABs. And, oh, I got to look down here. Got to look at the second sheet. And here, if this uh, says Z3853, if it's at the bottom of your uh, color list, then usually that's where your iridescent or your, um, I forgot what the other one, uh, uh, the fairy dust, this one's a fairy dust, uh, glow in the dark, any of that kind of stuff is going to be listed at the end. So we do have one fairy dust that seems to be, I think, maybe brown, and it looks like, I could be wrong. Maybe like a creamish color, green, mm, fuchsia, yellow, red. Okay, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking based off the sticker sheet. Now this is the one that I put personally in my logbook because I like to cut this whole thing out because I can put my start and my end date on here, and I love being able to store it that way in my logbook. Um, the other things that you get is you do get a pamphlet. And this pamphlet, you know, tells you everything that's in your kit. You get some tips and tricks. There is a thank you code. And, you know, if, if you're new to diamond painting or you just, you want to show someone how to diamond paint and they want to watch a video, you can go to this, use this QR code and be able to go do that. And, you know, if you don't want the video, there is step-by-step -step instructions right here on exactly how to diamond paint. What do you need to do? And when you've purchased from Diamond Art Club, you can join the VIP group, which that'll take you to the VIP group. Now, this is not the only place that you can get a discount for Diamond Art Club. So, like, if you've never purchased a kit before and you're like, well, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have a kit, so I don't have one of those cool, nifty uh, little codes there. Well, that's okay. I got you covered. Because if it's your first time purchasing, you can use either one of two codes. I have one of two codes. Um, you can use Mysteria10, and that'll get you $10 off of your very first purchase. Or you can use Mysteria15. That will get you 15% off your first order. So it's kind of whichever one, depending on how much you're ordering, whichever one's going to give you the most amount of uh money off and I do have a link in the description that will take you in there so that you can put the code um, and then once you've purchased like I said you have a code on that pamphlet there is a code on every canvas there is also a code on your shipping label as well as a QR code to save money on your box not only that the Diamond Art Club loves to do all kinds of really cool sales which Sometimes can get us in trouble, but we love them, and we're so grateful for them. Okay, so I do kind of want to look uh, in my toolkit. All your toolkits are pretty much the same. There is a few, a few little exceptions. Um, 
why can I never get everything up? Hey, look, my nails go perfectly with my little pen. <laughs> so you do get a pen and a squishy. Mine happens to be orange. Yours could be a different color. You get a tray that does have a stopper that you put right there so that when you shake, your drills do not fall out there. You get a bag of baggies. You get a thin four placer and a thin seven placer so you can you can practice multi-placing. You get a heart-shaped thing of wax. It does have two in there. Uh, if you are new, you might not realize there is a plastic cover on both the front and the back. You'll want to take that plastic cover off so that you can dip your pen into the wax so that you can pick up your drills. And so all round and square kits get that. This is the only thing that is different between a round and a square kit. Since this is a square, we do get the Stabby McStabberson tweezers, which are very sharp. So you want to keep that lid on there. No need, you know, crying over spilled blood. We don't want to do that. So, and I always actually use these to diamond paint my squares. Personally, I don't use a pen with squares. I use my tweezers because I've even learned how to multi-place with them. But you could also single place and do the checkerboard method, which, oh my God, it is so satisfying when you have that click of the, the squares clicking into place. <clears throat> it is, oh, I don't know. It's just, it's wondrous. Now, the other thing that everybody gets is you will get a cover minder. Mine happens to be a pretty glittery yellow shell um and so yours may be different now it has two magnets on it okay and what you do if you've never used a cover minder you pull back the plastic you put this part on top i gotta be careful because the last time it just went pinging off because you know there's two sides to a magnet and then on the back you the back of the canvas you use that other one and it will hold that in place to hold your uh plastic back and then you also get washi tape. Now, this happens to be my design. Very pretty, very earthy. Your design may be different. And I'm telling you, they give you a good deal. You're not getting just like, you know, a tiny bit of washi tape. So it's always got a really good set of washi tape. All right, I'm going to put this toolkit up. We're going to turn this over and we're going to meet these guys. Are y'all ready to meet them? I am ready to meet them. Oh my gosh. Whoops, sorry, did not mean to hit the... Oh, and I got them upside down. No, 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 we don't want you hanging upside down. We don't want you getting seasick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at them. I realized that I kind of forgot to tell you guys when this is going live. Like, psh, I, I got so excited. I got so into it. Totally forgot. So I'm popping this in here um, so that I can put it up here, up here on the screen for you. So this is going live this Saturday. Um, if you are Diamond or Ruby member, you will have first access to this early access at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then 30 minutes later, general release will happen, which is 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, if this is even anything that is up your alley, it's cooking up there, you want to go in there and hop to it and grab it. Okay, now back to the video. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to zoom out so you can see uh, the full canvas, and then I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm having to come on here because I, I made kind of a little boo-boo. Um, I, I'm not the best when it comes to technology sometimes and I accidentally hit the wrong button and deleted part of my video So I'm having to come on here so that I can number one show you the full canvas and also tell you some pretty cool information that I found So I had an opportunity to get to talk to the artist herself Christina And you know, I told her how much I love her little dragons and I was wondering what you know their names were and stuff So she went ahead and gave me um some little information. So that little silver gray dragon that you see there, that is Chef Murphle. And the little dragon with the flame over there with the tamales, he's the one flaming the tamales. His name, or he or she, their name is Tamale. Then the dragon that is uh, putting together the tacos, that is spicy. The absolutely adorable one in the guacamole bowl, that is stormy. The dragons, okay, you have two dragons that are rolling burritos. One is rolling the other one inside the burrito. The, that is Roly and Poly. Such appropriate little names for these little guys, aren't they cute? And then the dragon that has the chip in their mouth is named 
ship. Um, I thought these were so cute um, that I just, I, I wanted to come on here and share that with you as well as y'all being able to see the full uh, picture. Now back to the video. One of the things that I love that Diamond Art Club does is that on your set of drills, they always put the name of your canvas. They do this so that if you are one that likes to store uh, your canvases separately, some people like to um, hang them on clothes hangers in their closet, and then they put their drills separately, whether it be in a drawer or boxes. But this way, when you go and you grab your canvas, you look through your drills, and all you got to do is look for the name, and you know that you have the correct drills that go with yours. Um, I've also noticed people have been doing some of these little things, like I think they're called like blueprint tables or something like that, which really can hold a lot of flat canvases so that's kind of a pretty interesting idea now i always put mine back in my uh box because i'm just always scared it's not i'm, I'm scared it's not just that i'm gonna lose one set of drills I'm, i would lose all the drills if i had them separately so i just me personally i kind of keep them in my box but okay are we ready to go down to crinkle town and see these drills okay i know i am oh my god well hello hello can i can i get into the party i, I want to go to the party give me give me <laughs> okay so let me go ahead and give my little spiel when i go through the drills i speed up the film and i sound like a chipmunk and i have dubbed this chipmunk mode now if you are one that does not like chipmunk mode that is perfectly okay there's a couple of things you could do you could either mute the video and then just kind of watch the colors go by so that you're aware of you know what of how much of each color that you have um or you can fast forward until the end of chipmunk mode and how will you know if chipmunk mode is over um during chipmunk mode i will have a picture of a little chipmunk in the corner uh, and when you no longer see little chipmunk up there then you know that chipmunk mode is over but for everybody else that loves chipmunk mode chipmunk mode activated okay we're gonna start with this one so we have 310 uh, already we got i should have known this is a party bag and so i have a feeling we may have some little uh fiesta partiers going on here kind of like little confetti so we, we got us a little partier going on here but we have 310 there's one two three four bags of that then we have a bag of 720 this really pretty terracotta 742 Ooh, look at that one this is like a uh oranges light oranges i love it 920 3857 there's one two of those 301 we have one two of those 3371, this is a really dark chocolate. But maybe, maybe they use dark chocolate in mole. Um, I've never tried it. I've always wanted to. I'm gonna do one. I gotta go and try me some mole. I don't know where to go to get some, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna go look around. But we've got one, two of those. 741, another bright, beautiful orange. Um, 758, this is kind of a flesh tone. Uh, 407, 938, this is a like a milk, slightly darker milk chocolate. 918, okay, so we've got one, two of those. 400, now I'm not sure... We may have extra 400. Let me see. Let me see. Is there another? Yep, there is. There's a second 400 here. See, I've been having to be careful about that because every time I think I'm going crazy because I'll put the train down and I'll be like, I swear I've seen that number. Yeah, it's because, you know, they, they cut it off to make it more manageable to get into it. So we have two of the 400. Then we have 976, 898, 300. There's one, two of those. And we do have some gray. We do have Chef Marvel. He's gray. We have 751. Ooh. So this is our fairy dust Z3853. Now, I'm not sure how well this camera, camera are you going to, I don't know. They're showing their, their behindies so that they don't want to be, I don't know, they don't want to sparkle as much. But if you look here in the center, it has what appears to be glitter, but it's not actually glitter. It's it's a mica powder. And so it allows it to just have this really cool shimmer, shine, and it's just, I call it an ethereal look. And that's a decent amount right there, so I'm excited about that. We have 782. Oh, oh here is our first AB, 104. So it's more like a... a peachish khakiish color so ab stands for aurora borealis and what it means is it has this iridescent coating on the top of the drill so that when the light hits it you can see a little bit of pinks purples blues like just the rainbow colors you know all in there and it makes the other drills around it like really kind of draw attention to them too i love ab's so we got that's a decent amount there we have 3861 Ooh, teal 3847 336 436 Ooh, look at that fuchsia right there 718 817 that's a pretty red 939 which is like a, a navy blue 814 Ooh, look at that that's like a deep mob. 977, uh, 452. I don't know what number I was trying to call that one. Oh, no, that's a pretty purple. 3834. All right, let's put that on the... So now we should be into our medium train. We have 937, 803, 453, 3860, 154, 815, 3752. Okay, here's our second AB, 108. Now that is a... Look at that green right there. Y'all, that's going to be really pretty. Where is that going? Is that going in the... I always like to try to figure out where it's going. Is it going maybe in the lettuce? I think it may be lettuce. What do you think? Y'all think I might be right? I don't know. 3328, 915, 935, 606. That's pretty. 166. I don't know why I love these. Like, they are not. This, this, the bright, like, chartreuse colors. It, 
It's so much fun on a canvas. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, how you all doing? You are so pretty. This is 111. Look at this fuchsia, A.B. <gasps> you are gorgeous. Where are you going? Mm. 501 teal. I love me some teals. 3827, 3778, 3866. Oh, here's our next A.B. 133. That is our orange. And then right next to it is 130, our yellow. Mm, I cannot wait to find out where these go. Okay. Yes, oh, oh. Okay, well, before I can get to the baby train, i got to get to this little guy that's all by himself. And oh, my goodness. So, in case you haven't noticed, we, um, Diamond Art Club started doing some of their own colors because, you know, they said, we want to give them more color ranges than what's just in DMC colors. And so, they started making their own colors. And you'll know it's one of their colors if it starts with 6,000. So, we have 6,033. There's one of that. We have 6,030. 6,034, 6,031, and 6,032. Now, you see, they are very similar-ish in color, but their gradients differ, and I love, absolutely love that because that's what brings a lot of depth to the painting, so I applaud Diamond Art Club for um, starting to do that. All right, now we are on to the baby train. We have 722, 934, 3841, ooh, 500, that's a dark green, 676, 520, 816, 3753, oh, there's 666 red, 319, ooh, 703, there's another one of those pretty colors, 3819, ooh, ooh, look at that blue, 3765, I don't know what to call that blue, but it is gorgeous, that's what I call it, gorgeous, absolutely, 961, a little blush, uh, 890, 165, 518, that's a pretty blue, and 471, <gasps> those colors, okay. Let's flip this over and see where these ABs and fairy dust go. Before we get to looking where everything is, um, I do want to go ahead and show off a couple of things. Diamond Art Club has what we call a scalloped and surged edge, and um, this prevents fraying. They also have what is called a sparkle canvas. Now, on a square drill, you know, you're not really going to see in between the drills on a round drill kit, you will. But you know what? When you're working with it, it's just so much fun to see the sparkles and then with their drill field this is diamond art club's drill field it is very very clear um technically you can work on this without a light pad now i'm just i don't know i'm obsessed with light pads so for me it does and they've also started doing their plastic so this is how we know this is a poured glue this plastic though ha is uh thicker than it has been in the past because now they are instituting perforated plastic sheet that means that you can just kind of uh, tear away the sections however big of a section um, that you want to work on and then the rest of the plastic can stay down you know if you're not wanting to use anything else if you don't want to use cover papers or whatever if you don't want to you know pull back and use a cover minder it's kind of however which way they just wanted to give you more options and y'all for me for one i am glad to have that option i think that is such a cool idea okay so what i'm going to kind of do is kind of go through them one at the time so that number one which is that like peachish ab um you're actually going to see that in the top of his hat here in some of the clouds in the sky those are ones there's a few highlights on the banner those are ones and look at this huge there's this huge section right here all of that and even going through here is that um a b there's a little bit going here and then when i looked down further in this burrito y'all roly-poly are gonna have some little bling going in here because here if you see this light portions of the burrito and don't little really put those are that um a b there's also a little bit here um on um my brain just went my brain just went blank on stormy there's a little bit on stormy right here right here on the eyelid and i think this might be pico de gallo um it could be salsa but there is a little bit uh, going there as well. For that number two, that is that green AB. And so it's, it's rimming our avocado here. We have, uh, some in our, uh, chili pepper right here. I was kind of right. It is in, whoops. Okay. Like see here, stop being a, Ooh, oh, my camera. Um, in the lettuce, we do have, I, I was wondering if we were going to have some of the lettuce. So we do have some going throughout the lettuce. We have a little bit going in our lime here, but Stormy, Stormy has 
a lot of the uh, green AB, a little bit going here in the guacamole. And we have just the tiniest bit in Chef Murphle's, um sombrero. And there is like a little um, one up here of confetti, maybe a little confetti piece. Our number three AB is that very beautiful fuchsia color. So it is kind of um, outlining and in some parts of your um, banner up there. And the biggest place that it is, is that there are a couple of sections here on, because this uh, tablecloth is like a fuchsia. And so there's a spot here. And there's a spot here. And even, which I think, whoops, I think this is kind of, I'm trying not to get my head in here. It's kind of interesting. You do have the the fuchsia going around the guacamole over here uh you also have another little spot right there and of course to end it off we have here in this section of the tablecloth that fuchsia i almost overlooked it also in here we have the uh, fuchsia in the eye as well for our number four AB, that one is our yellow AB. And I think it's quite interesting because they have put the that one kind of like in the tacos. Like maybe it's the cheese on the tacos is what I'm kind of thinking. So where you see this bright yellow at, that right there is your, um, and here in the flame, that is that yellow AB. We also have it here in this sauce like I can't decide, is this the salsa? Is it a cheese sauce? Because if this is cheese, I'm thinking there must that must be cheese sauce. There is also, but see, but see, that's where it kind of throws me off because there's some four, some of that yellow in the guacamole. And I don't remember cheese being inside guacamole. So that one's got me, that one's got me just a little bit stumped. So, uh, but I do know it's in the guacamole and here and on your tacos and in his... <laughs> this little flame okay our last a b is that red a b um and so i'm thinking because it's in here um i'm thinking these are like maybe tomato baskets um we also have a little bit not much a little bit is in what i think are the tomatoes on your tacos um here in what i think is pico de gallo there is some of that um red a b going there as well as a little bit on the grill the last thing that we have is our fairy dust and that's this check mark and it's kind of in different places because it's like that terracotta -y, so it's a little bit here in the buildings um you also do have it um going right here um on tamale a little bit you definitely have it going throughout spicy spicy has it going throughout um them uh there is some i don't even know what kind of sauce this one might be but it is going throughout there a little bit um you do have it on the chip you have some on chip himself and you also have it up in the fiesta banner so y'all this is gonna have so i mean like it's gonna have like is it gonna have you know a super ton no but i think it's gonna have just the right amount and i oh my gosh i am so happy because like i said i i have i voted for every single one of christina's images because i absolutely love these little guys love that they came uh or that they come with names and something that you might not know which i found out is that her chef Murphle, she has a plushie of him. And y'all, 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 y'all know my dragon things. So I am super, I, oh, I love knowing um, that she has some plushies of some of her dragons. Uh, and I did find out uh, what the dragon's names were in Little Cooks. Uh, and that that is like, there's another, a couple of other ones uh, of those. But y'all, her artwork is amazing. I absolutely love this. And y'all, thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for sending this to me because this makes my this makes my dragon heart so happy. That's why I said I want to party with these guys. I want to have fun. Because they're having fun. I want to have I want to come to the fiesta. Do I get to come to the fiesta? 
I want, I want to go. I'd love to just go hang out with these guys. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all that I have for you. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. It would greatly help the channel. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and come join the crazy that is me. Come have fun with us. Just make sure that you hit that bell icon for all notifications. That way, you know, anytime that I upload a video or anytime that I go live, I'd love to hang out with you guys. So, um, all right. I'm going to leave you like I always do. Reach for the stars, grab hold, hold on, and never let go. Until my next video, bye guys.